Hi, it's Dwyer. It is March 7th, 2021, NBA All-Star Game Day. Let's talk about a bat that we like. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let's key on the three-point contest. To these eyes, given that Kyrie Irving's not in it, he's won it before, given that Joe Harris is not in it, look at his numbers. I believe there are only two guys with a realistic chance, in my opinion, of winning a three-point shooting contest. One is the person the world knows, Steph Curry, one of the greatest shooters in NBA history from distance. No question about it, right? But I believe there's a sleeper here. He's a phenomenal three-point shooter, phenomenal. But we don't give him the credit because he's won the slam dunk contest multiple times. And that's Chicago Bull Zach Levine. He's going off at a plus 400. Bet a dollar to get that dollar back plus four dollars. You're getting huge odds on him. Now understand if he didn't play for the Chicago Bulls who are struggling, he would be an MVP candidate. He's averaging 28.7 points per game with more than five boards and more than five assists. But for our purposes, for the three-point contest, just understand that Levine, career, it's 38.4% of his threes. Let me repeat that. Zach Levine for his career behind the arc hits 38.4% of his threes. This season, he's even doing better than that. He's hitting 43.5% of his threes. Again, 43.5% of his threes. Levine is an elite, not good. He's an elite three-point shooter. Elite. I think he gives Curry a run for the money in the three-point shooting contest. The bet I'm recommending is an imperfect hedge. In other words, you have other guys. Donovan Mitchell, uh, Jason Tatum, Right, You uh, have other guys in the contest. The hedge I like is Curry at minus 135. Why? Because he's Steph Curry. Hedged with Levine at plus 400. You'll figure out how to apportion it. Just have it so that if either wins, you get a positive rate of return. I believe that's the best play I see this All-Star Weekend. Understand, this weekend's a little bit different from other weekends where these guys are going to have things like the three-point shooting contest right before the game starts, right? Now, that could give a Curry a leg up toward winning the MVP in the game. It's possible that after all the shooting, He's on a roll, whether he wins or loses the three-point shooting contest, and then is hitting threes in the main event. But that could also hurt him, right? Guys have been known to get tired. We've seen some of these three-point shooting contests where that last rack of balls, the guy is out of gas. That could carry over to the game. In any event, I'm not going to touch the game. I'm going to target this three-point shooting contest. I like Curry and Zach Levine, right? I believe you're getting your value here on the hedge off the mispricing with Levine. Who else could hit 43.5% of their threes this year and be going off as a 4 to 1 underdog? No need to put a bow on the package. Wrap it up. I'll take it. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. 
if there's a different NBA All-Star Weekend prop that you like, right? Could be winner of the game. Could be MVP of the game. Whatever you want to talk about, I hope you do so in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.